sort of indefinite leaves of absence that have taken place, the team right now finds itself without executive leadership, or the company, the business finds itself without executive leadership. And that's not something the NBA can tolerate. So they need someone to step in um, and take hold of this thing and be, on an interim basis, the leader, and make sure that no value is lost, make sure that the enterprise continues to function in an appropriate way, perhaps even you know, help it move to the next level, but certainly help it move through this period of transition that we're in. Because at the same time, the league is announced that it's commencing a, a process by which it seeks to uh, terminate uh, the ownership of Mr. Sterling um, and those affiliated with Mr. Sterling. And that's a process that has lots of you know, sort of due diligence and, and, and other um, protections, if you will, for league owners and involves the participation of other league owners. So my job is the former. My job is to be the CEO of the enterprise and make sure the enterprise is, you know, the boat still floats, the boat is still headed in the right direction, and maybe even we pick up a little speed. Adam and the league's job is to prosecute the, uh, the second part of that process I talked about, which is the question of ownership and bringing in new owners. So that may help you in terms of shaping some of your questions as we go further into this press conference. The other thing I like to say is, so, so you know, well, what are you going to do? Uh, and the answer to that is, uh, I'm only beginning to get my arms around what I'm going to do, but the first step was to come out here and to meet with the management and staff of the team. Uh, I've talked to Doc, but I haven't yet met with the players. It just seemed to me that the players have other things on their mind right now. I need to be focused on, on that, and I don't want to be a distraction. But I did want to come out here and meet with the people who've been keeping this thing afloat and who we're going to count on to keep it going on a go-forward basis. So we spent the morning with the management and with, and, and with the staff, uh, just letting them know that, that we appreciate not only what they've been doing, but the way they've been doing it. Um, frequently, people overlook the fact, because there's this, all this turmoil going on at the top, that it leaks down into the rank and file. And a, a lot of these folks have felt beleaguered, um, um, beyond disappointed in terms of the way the franchise has been characterized and their role in it. And not only did I want to sort of say to them that, that you know, we're sort of here to help stabilize, but to find out from them, most importantly, what do we need to do to do that? You know, what needs, what balls are in the air, what needs to be caught, what needs to be moved forward, and begin making, you know, sort of decisions as to how we're going to run the franchise going forward. So uh, that was very rewarding. Um, and. Uh, Kind of has given me a lot of ideas, some of which I had already. I'm you know, pleased to say not only was I impressed with the team, I'm impressed with the opportunity in front of them. You know, this was something I said to the staff earlier today that uh, it reminds me of the Chinese uh, symbol for crisis, danger and opportunity. I think there's obviously there's huge danger um, and pitfalls in front of us. But there's tremendous opportunity, I think, for this franchise. And the exciting part to me is going to be to help realize some of that.